Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a fortress update video. I was hoping to have the CAD and billing materials and all that kind of stuff out this Sunday today, but I've had some great feedback on the Discord. Um, I want to thank Kaza and Drogue for giving me some feedback on the Y axis. Um, Basically, they suggested I use more of the 2020 frame and make this like a true 2020 printer, which I do agree on. And I have been basically this week modifying all the CAD and stuff like that to make sure that this printer is as good as it can be. So I'll show you on the Y axis here. What I've done is I've actually taken the top 2020 extrusions and I've moved them down to where the Y axis would be. A lot of this stuff just worked right away. Um, I was concerned that I was gonna lose build area because my linear rails were going to be on the side just like they were on the panels and I would be actually basically losing 20 millimeters on each side. However, I figured I could actually just put the linear rail up on the top and modify the Y carriages where I didn't lose any build area. And now the linear rails are actually directly supported on the 2020 here. They are absolutely solid. I didn't have to change anything on the motor mounts or anything like that. I just had to kind of re readjust the Y uh, carriage parts here. I made new idler uh, mounts here. You can see all the belts are ran. Everything looks really, really good. I'm very happy with it. So I finished this part of it off and Essentially, I then started looking at the Z and there's some, some things that could happen with the Z and basically what could happen is I'm thinking about making this a single motor triple Z. So what I mean by that is the actual Z would be supported by three lead screws. So we would have a lead screw right here, we would have a lead screw right here, and then we'd have a single lead screw in the back. And then underneath the bottom panel, there would be a single belt that would actually go to one stepper motor and it would turn all of the lead screws synchronous. So everything would be nice and synchronized. There'd be no change in the uh, main board. You don't need like a, a three Z stepper main board. It would increase the bill of materials for the Z about like 40, $50, I would think. Um, I think the bed would be much more stable. It would be really, really nice. And especially on a printer that's 2020 and is meant to be more stable anyways, I think that Z would make more sense. As well as, um, I would like to move to a Prusa mini bed. So if we go back to the Y, I actually do have some room here to move the belts out about six millimeters on each side, six to seven millimeters, I would, I would gain that in printable area. So there's a potential for this to print around 170 by 170. And I would of course make the changes to that, basically just moving these idlers out a little bit more, which won't affect anything. They're already clearing the rear 2020. So I can just slide them out. You can see here, these, these uh, idlers right here, they can come out six to seven millimeters. I could change these Y and we would gain all of that build area. So I think that might be something um, that makes sense. I would really be interested in uh, the community, uh, the feedback on this printer. Uh, basically, we can also move this Z back to probably like 20, 30 millimeters. There'd be more room behind the bed. There's a lot of options and it's it's starting to make a lot of sense to me on this printer. So I'm very curious about people's thoughts on that. So let me know what you think about the changes to this. Uh, triple Z would be really nice. Um, it does increase the cost of the bill of materials a little bit. You would need one more linear rail. You would need three lead screws. You would need some pulleys and idlers on the bottom. And then of course a Prusa mini bed. I think though it solves a lot of issues potentially with a 2020 frame like this. Like I say, 
if the Y and X are going to be super, super rigid, it makes sense to have the Z just as rigid. And the Prusa mini bed would solve a lot of like, which bed do I run? Do I run glass? Do I try to find like a salad fork bed or something like that? The Fisec uh, Prusa mini bed like clone I have on my Rook 180 and it's awesome. Um, it comes with a PEI sheet, it's heated, it's it's just the perfect solution for this, I think. And it, it already fits in here just fine. So it might make sense to gain a little bit more um, printable area and make the Z even better. And I haven't actually done a triple Z with a single motor before. So I would be very interested in trying to make that work. So I'd be very interested in everyone's uh, thoughts on that. Um, see what they think, hop on the Discord, throw your ideas for the Z on here. If you'd like, put some comments down below and um, I'll kind of go from there. I want to thank everyone for buying the Rook Evolution on My Mini Factory. That's incredible. Uh, of course, thank all the patrons. If you want to support me on Patreon, I have a bunch of different tiers on there. You can find my Patreon link down below. Also, like, share, subscribe the video. That helps a lot. Comments. Um, really happy to engage with the community. We have an awesome community, community here. And uh, yeah, that's an update video for Fortress. I'll catch everyone next time. Thanks.